How's it going everyone? Brutal Sam is here and uh, today we're going to be taking a look at this new tool called PKG Ripper which is a PC app that will help you make PS4 fake packages smaller. So this application will help you make PS4 games smaller before you send them to the PS4. So the thing about this app is that it needs patches uh, in order to work. But don't worry, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own patches without waiting for them to be shared by others. There's already like, uh, I think, 15 or 16 patches that has been shared and uh, you can use them without making new patches. So there are some patches that has been shared, but uh, you don't have to wait for this because I'm going to be showing you how to make your own patches. So let's get started. The first thing is we need to download uh, PS4 fake package tools uh, from the link that I'm going to be sharing uh, down in the description. And then we're going to go and download the actual tool, the PKG Ripper. We're going to download uh, two things, the PKG Ripper itself, and then uh, we're going to download the uh, .NET zip uh, DLL file. Okay, now click on keep. All right, and we're done. We have the uh, three files that we need. So first of all, we're going to create a folder here. Okay, name it whatever you like. There's no uh, conditions for that. And now we're going to just extract the uh, contents of this uh, compressed folder here. Okay, we're done with the uh, PS4 fake package tools. You can delete them. And now simply move the uh, PKG Ripper and the DLL file uh, inside this folder. So let's get started. Go ahead and double click on the PKG Ripper. Click on run. And uh, we're going to start with the game that has a patch. So uh, I'm not going to be showing you how to make a patch now. I'll show you this later. But for now, we're going to start with Crisis 3. It has 10 gigabyte uh, in size and it has a patch, so we, we don't have to make a patch for it. So precisely, it's 9.62 gigabyte. OK, so uh, go ahead and click on open. All right. And now we'll just select English and uh, the rest will be deleted. So you can see here that the patch, uh, the patch files has been detected correctly and the game has been detected. Now we will select English only and click go. Right now there's nothing you can do. Uh, so sit back and relax and watch the tool do its job. So uh, the thing about this is that the bigger the package is, the longer it takes okay so this is a 10 gigabyte file size and uh, I'm gonna have to skip to the uh, end so you can see uh, the difference between the uh, new package file and the old package file in terms of size all right so uh, package ripper is done creating a new smaller package file and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, check out the size of this uh, uh, new package okay here it is, 7.7 .7 gigabyte, which is smaller than the original. Let's go to properties to see the actual size, which is 7.34 gigabyte. Now I'm going to pull the uh, old package so we can see the size and compare both of them. Okay. So this one is 9.62. This one is the original package file. And this one on the right here is the new created package 7.34 so there's a difference of almost like two gigabyte you may not see it as a huge difference but we could make this new package even smaller if we uh, added an update file to this package ripper and uh, chose to remove the uh, duplicate files and you'll know what i'm talking about uh, in the next section where I show you how to make patches and how to remove duplicate files from an update file. So uh, this method is actually the easiest and most straightforward because you'll only be selecting the uh, base package and then you will select the uh, update file and then you will just click one button to remove the uh, duplicate content. So let's get started. On the top left corner you will see patches, click on it and then select create here click on browse and you will select the uh, base package okay that's the full game okay and now here in the uh, duplicate from update click on it and you will select the update file okay click open 
All right, now on the uh, right section here, on the right side, you will see all the uh, duplicate files that will be deleted. Okay, so those files will be deleted. And in the patch description, you can just type whatever you want. It doesn't have anything necessarily, just type whatever you want. But in the update uh, required version section, you have to, uh, to type the actual update of the uh, game. On the left here, um, I, I really couldn't find anything to remove, but uh, in the next part, I will show you uh, that uh, you can remove the uh, languages that you don't need and such. So uh, now all that is left to do is click on create patch file. Okay, and then just click OK. All right, so the patch file has been created. And uh, to check that out, we have to go to the patches folder. And as you can see, this is the newest created patch. Okay, now we can actually proceed uh, to making the package file smaller. Click on browse and select the base game. Open. All right, and uh, as you can see down here, the patch file has been detected correctly. Now all we have to do is click on this uh, remove duplicate files here, whatever you called it, click on it and simply hit go. Now you will get this uh, kind of uh, warning. Uh, what this means is that we have to remarry the update with the base package by creating and applying a fake patch. This can be done by using this same tool, PKG Ripper, and it's really, really simple to do. I'll show you how it's done after this new small PKG file uh, is created. So just click OK for now and uh, let the package ripper create a new smaller package uh, for you. So uh, it's gonna take a while, so I'm gonna speed things up so we can get to the end faster. All right, so uh, it's done, it has been created. Now we're gonna go and check the uh, size of this uh, new created package file. All right. Okay, so it's 2.3 gigabyte and now i'm gonna pull the uh, old package file the original package okay it's 2.9 gigabytes go to properties 2.78 gigabytes okay now let's compare it with the uh, new created package okay so the new one the old one the old one the original is 2.78 while the new package is 2.28 it may not sound or look like a significant difference, but we were able to remove a half gigabyte from a 2.7 gigabyte game, and uh, it's kind of impressive. And other game sizes can be reduced drastically, such as um, Medieval HD. The game went from 20 gigabyte to only 8 gigabytes. So you really have to try this uh, with the game that you want to make small and uh, give it a shot. Try with that game. See how much uh, size you'll be reducing. Now let's take a look on how to uh, marry the update file to this uh, new modified and smaller PKG file that we just created. So first of all go to the uh, GitHub page of PKG Ripper and then go to Patches. Alright, click on the one and only file that you see here. And we're going to scroll to the end of this code. Copy this line of code. All right, only this. And then go back to the patches folder. Okay, right click on the uh, patch that we created and click edit. And now we have to make room here to paste the uh, line of code. So press enter all right and just paste the uh, line of code here all right remember that it has to be typed exactly here or it will not work okay so now we just go to file and save and now we're done with the patch file. So all that is left is to uh, apply this patch to the update file 
so we can marry it to the base package. So go and open package ripper, okay, click browse and select the update file this time, okay, the update file. All right, now we see that the patch has appeared here, click on it and this little window that will appear down here, click on browse and select the base package. This is the full game, the base package, click open and simply hit go. Now the uh, modified uh, base package will be married to this new update which will also be modified because we applied a patch to it and then you will be able to install both of them. So yeah this is how to marry a, a base package that was modified with this uh, update file that was also modified. So we're done with this, uh, let's move on to the final part of this video which is removing unnecessary languages from a game. So again, go to the top left corner and click on patches, then click create and select the game that you want to modify. I'm going to choose this one which is uh, kind of big 21 gigabyte click open all right and now we'll start uh, finding those uh, languages that we don't need and then uh, we're gonna like mark them to be removed so we go down here to sound data okay ps4 and you can see here that this is sounds Brazilian, English, French, German, Italian, and Spanish. So I'm going to remove everything here except English. Now, of course, you can't just start marking uh, files to be removed without uh, reading what file you're actually removing. So if we, we got here now, we got here and this is SFX, which is like sound effects. We can't remove that uh, or the uh, game will crash and the package will not even be installed. So skip the SFX and we'll just delete the other uh, language which is Spanish. Now we're done marking files that will be removed. We have to click on this arrow here so those files uh, will be added to the content to be removed and as you can see they appeared on the right side which means they will all be uh, removed. Now I'm going to open the videos folder and I will also remove all of those languages except English. So Brazilian, Czech, and everything else everything except english okay all right we're done selecting click the arrow again and they have been added now to remove even more files that we don't need we have to add the update file so duplicate files uh, will be removed but before that, uh, I'm going to type the uh, patch description and then type the uh, update version, which is 01.34. And then we go down here and click on uh, duplicates from updates and select the update file. Click open. And if we scroll down here, we'll see that the uh, duplicate files have been added to the uh, list of contents to be removed. So now all that is left is to click on create patch file. So all of those files uh, will get removed. So click on create patch file and we're done. The patch file has been created and now we can move on to uh, actually reduce the size of the uh, game. So again 
we go open the package ripper click on browse select the base game okay the main game click open and then we will see uh, the patch that we uh, created here okay so we're gonna select it and simply hit go now the uh, the tool will start uh, reducing the size of this PKG file okay also click OK here as I previously showed you and we're done so yeah this is how you use PKG Ripper to make fake packages smaller and uh, I hope this tutorial was easy to follow and that you will find this useful that's it for now take care and uh, we'll see you in future tutorials.